Our headlines today. The remains of the missing Titan submersible are found on the seabed. There are no survivors. As the families of the five men on board pay tribute, Titanic film director James Cameron says there needs to be more regulation in the industry. Here you have this great irony that now there's a wreck sitting next to the Titanic wreck that's there for the same reason, because the iceberg warnings went unheeded. Chancellor Jeremy Hunt will meet mortgage lenders this morning as concerns grow over high interest rates. Yes, it means anyone looking to buy a property or renew their mortgage faces a steep rise in their monthly costs. I've come to this estate agent in Coventry to find out how it's affecting buyers and sellers here, as well as the rental market. And good morning with all the sport from the London Stadium this morning, which has been transformed as Major League Baseball comes to the UK for only the second time. Two games this weekend. Now, many people believe the sport started near here, so baseball's coming home. A plaque to commemorate the 75th anniversary of the Empire Windrush's arrival at Tilbury Docks has been unveiled at Tilbury Town Station. It was on the 22nd of June 1948 that the ship arrived in the Essex port, bringing Caribbean migrants to the UK. Many passengers would then have taken the train for their onward journey. On the front pages this morning, now the mail there leading on the news that the five missing Titanic explorers were killed in a catastrophic implosion. The Express says the Titanic has claimed five more victims after the search and rescue operation ended in tragedy. While the mirror says the five people died instantly when the vessel imploded. And that story is also on the front of the sun, which says the adventurers had no chance of survival. Meanwhile, the Metro has gone with the headline, Titan 5 died in implosion. And the Guardian says there are fears of a recession after that interest rate hike yesterday. And that story is also the lead on the eye, which says the Prime Minister has ruled out any tax cuts. Mortgage misery for millions, that's the headline there on the front page of the Times. Well, the Telegraph reports that Joe Biden had refused to back Ben Wallace as the next Secretary General of NATO. And the star claims that Thames Water is blaming leaking pipes on a hot summer and a wet winter. That's so unusual, isn't it, for the seasons? <laughs> And if you want to see any of those front pages again or read the stories, just scan the QR code which is on your screen.